So after years of offering sacrificial lambs and under-the-table handjobs to the YouTube algorithm gods, it appears that at least for the moment that I finally won their favor. And I am currently experiencing the most intense erections of my life every time I open my YouTube analytics. Now, I want to start by thanking... Oh, shut up. Wait, wh why should I shut up? Because you know that I'm the only reason that anyone subscribes to your stupid-ass channel. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this delicately crafted beard, my effortless wit, and these baby blue eyes that I make bluer than they are in real life when I color grade and post. I think that's actually the reason why people subscribe. Or you're fat and obnoxious and people subscribe because I'm a fucking smoke show. No, no, wait, I was kidding! Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new steak and cheese calzone with a side of marinara. My name is Leon Lush and I am just so fortunate that you decided to take a few minutes out of your day to watch this video here with me. And holy shit, are there a lot of new faces in the audience tonight. So Nigel couldn't make it today. Uh, he came down with a bit of a cold. But I just wanted to acknowledge that I am going through a bit of a growth spurt on the channel right now. I feel very fortunate, and I just want to thank you guys, the OGs that have been watching me for a while and stuck around and supported me. And I also want to give a warm welcome to a lot of you new people that have clicked the subscribe button recently uh, and say thank you so much for deciding to do that, and welcome to the party. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Diso, and today I'm here with my beautiful, sexy, cheerleader friend, Robin. Hi! And today we're going to be pranking my girlfriend, and I'm going to act like I'm, you know, getting freaky freaky with uh, my sexy chiller friend right so here. So today we're talking about Derek Disu, who's kind of like your typical prank first prank channel that kind of builds their content around the pillars of infidelity, fake pranks, you know, making a mockery of domestic abuse, all that fun stuff that's really funny to like impressionable 12 to 14 year olds. I mean, I was going to tell you, but... We have, yeah, once. It was so only you want to tell me on camera? Here, let me, let me get a camera. You want to tell me on camera? There's only one. Tell everybody, Derek, tell everybody to cheat on once. me. Everybody I was tipped off about this channel on Twitter uh, by my friend Oscar Zamora who DM'd me saying, you should do a video on Derek Disu next. He's been obviously faking videos about his girlfriend having cancer, amongst other things. Now those are pretty serious claims, right? So I decided, as I like to do, to put on my invisible detective cap over the top of my visible cap and now get to the bottom of this. What's up guys? It's your boy Derek Diso, and this is what happens when your girlfriend acts up and she starts going crazy. Your jealous boyfriend kicks in and knocks her out. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Very, very, very evil prank of my mom today. Oh um, yeah, this was not my idea. I promise. This is all <laughs> your son here. This is so mean. I cannot even stand it. You know what would be absolutely hilarious? Is if I could convince my mother, who raised me her entire life, that I was beating the shit out of my wife. <laughs> Pow! Right? Oh man, she'd be devastated. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Now all this is assuming that this prank isn't fake, which actually is a pretty slim chance, because as we know, 90 to 95% of pranks on YouTube are just bullshit scripted clickbaity nonsense to get young kids to, to click and believe it. Uh, but assuming it is fake, uh, then the mother's just as guilty, right? To, to agree to do something like this and basically make a mockery of domestic abuse. Uh, for a couple of dollars, right? I mean, money just makes people do some fucking uh, outstanding things, does it not? I love you so much, but we had to prank you. So basically, we put makeup on her, making it like I beat her up because she was following some dudes on Instagram, she's liking her pictures and stuff, and I got jealous, so I had to. Listen, I may have spoken too soon before I knew the severity of this situation. I mean, if your girl has the audacity to like another person's Instagram photo, I mean, you hit her with a jab uppercut combo. There is no alternative. Yeah. These guys. Yeah. Madame, Messieurs, Jean-Paul Belmondo. It's Oscar worthy. That's what that is. That is a career performance right there. I have not hit her yet. 
shit, and I don't agree with that. I don't like what you guys are doing to me. You guys mess with my emotions, Derek. You, she really had me thinking that you were messing her up. Oh, man. What an absolute treat. I love watching people get emotionally damaged while trivializing actually serious issues. I mean, it's no secret why cable television is dying. They don't have domestic abuse pranks like YouTube does. I could watch this shit on repeat. Day in, day out. What else do you need? Now to back up and show you the big picture a little bit, Derek Disu has two YouTube channels. Both have over a million subscribers. His original Derek Disu has 1.8 million and he was built, he built that on the classic prank stuff, infidelity pranks, dramatizing every little thing in the relationships he was in, strip pranks, you know, just all that fire content you've come to expect on YouTube. He's also got Derek Disu Daily, which looks like he uploads to that more now, and the old channel's kind of collecting dust a little bit. But they still do upload to both, and the newer one they upload more frequently, but it's not all pranks, it's like vlog kind of style stuff, but they still do pranks. And it's based around infidelity and mistrust. Just all that good shit you love from a good couple's channel online. I mean, all you have to do is search the word cheat against their catalog of videos, and you get like 14 results. Cheating on girlfriend prank, kissing two girls prank backfires, cheating, cheating on, cheating with, caught cheating with ex, STD cheating prank on girlfriend, I cheated on my boyfriend, caught cheating over something, cheating prank on boyfriend, I cheated on my boyfriend, I'm sorry, the truth about cheating on Derek, I mean, come the fuck on! Give it a rest already, you'd think after like the fifth or sixth cheating prank video it might lose its potency just a little bit. But no, no, they went ahead and just kept doing it, kept doing it, and people kept eating that shit up. One thing led to another, and I made a huge mistake. And I'm gonna tell him that I cheated, and we're gonna see his reaction. It's about to be the best prank ever. <laughs> Listen, I know we already knew this, but just statistically speaking now, there's no way that these pranks can be real because after the second or third time you do a cheating prank on your partner, even if you both had a frontal lobe lobotomy, you probably start to get a little suspicious. Hey babe, how was your trip? I'm cheating on you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this just a prank like the other eight times or did you really suck another guy's dick? <laughs> I definitely sucked him off. Sorry, babe. Babe, what? Babe, really? How could you do that to me? Uh... Just kidding. It's a prank. <laughs> Fuck off. Honestly. Here's the thing, I don't tolerate mistakes. I don't tolerate none of that bullshit. I cheat, I'm sorry. Once you Maybe. cheat once, you're cut. Cut. I think that cut. we can make this work. Cameron, it doesn't was work. just because no. I just no. because no. I cheated one no. time does not make no. me a cheater. No. Wait, what? No. Just because no. I cheated one no. time does not make no. me a cheater. I, gone hard. I just want to know who watches shit like this and is like, oh man. Yeah, this is spicy. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna subscribe. Click. What? Why? I missed the last girlfriend, but whatever. I like the other girl better. Your new girl is annoying. I like your ex better. Wait, did Derek Disu used to do similar pranks with another girl before he got with his current girlfriend? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Fasacita. Oh, yeah, I guess so. And don't act like I don't see you guys in the comments talking shit because I've been crying and he scares me where I start crying or he hurts me and I start crying. That's so strange. I wonder why it didn't work out. <laughs> I'm here with my girlfriend, Fasacita. <laughs> 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 And today we're gonna to be doing the strip challenge. Ah, uh, yes, another one of my absolute favorites. The strip challenge. Okay, so like the bra is like a bathing suit, right? So it's not yeah, it's like a bathing suit, it's not a big deal, right? Okay. Do! Okay, fine. Oh. Do! All right, I see where they're coming from and why they made all those comments about the X being better. I mean, what 12 year old doesn't like a girl that strips on YouTube. That's, that no 12 year olds don't like that. That's the answer to that question. By the way, this video pulled 35 million views. Uh, what a performance, just remarkable. I can't imagine the amount of people who have jerked off to this video, scary. <laughs> God, I fucking love YouTube comments, man. I do, I... Like I said, I don't ever put my girlfriend on YouTube. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I also want to quickly address the initial statement by my friend Oscar that sent me the DM telling me about this guy that he was faking videos about his girlfriend having cancer. About a month ago on their daily channel, he uploaded a video titled, My Girlfriend Has Cancer. Then the next video was her uploading a video called, I Have Cancer. And then the video after that was, My Girlfriend Had Surgery and it was successful. Now let's just dive a little deeper.
Well, this must this must be some pretty serious shit. He is torn up. Well, boy, let's get to it. <coughs> Forty seconds in. Not. What's up, guys? Hey, um, there he is. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry I put you guys through that, but to summarize, this is a 13 minute and 47 second video of this guy telling us that his girlfriend is dying of cancer. But when the doctor tells you you can't do anything about it, no money, you can't give her your heart, you can't do nothing. And that he feels helpless and he doesn't know what to do and he's going to help her fight and he's torn up. He'd give her his heart, his liver, he'd give up an arm for her, but the doctor said it's not like that. I'll give you everything in my bank account right now, sell my houses, take everything I got. And he said, that's not how it works. And I said, okay, well, does she need like, you know, a body part and I have to take my liver and my heart, my skin, my blood. And the doctor said, it's not how it works. You just can't give her an arm and heal her cancer. It's pretty fucking, it's crazy shit, man. This is tough. Like this is real deal shit. The doctor said she has to have treatment. She has to go through a lot of tests, more tests and uh, painful treatment. People die of cancer all the time. Families are torn apart. People lose loved ones because of cancer. And it's terrible and it's sad and it's serious. And if we fast forward a little bit, we'll realize he's kind of making a mockery of that. Or he's just unbelievably uneducated. I haven't really decided which one I think is, is going on here, but let's... I have no response. I can't do anything. I can just sit here and watch my girlfriend and die. Now, I'm curious that if he got the call from his girlfriend, heard the word cancer, and just immediately hung up the phone and made this YouTube video thinking it was the end of the world because come to find out. I had BCC, which is called basal cell carcinoma. It's a pretty common skin cancer and the doctor removed it. So it was just a little excision surgery. She had a basal cell sarcinoma. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's like the least life-threatening kind of cancer there is. It's like a skin cancer you get from too much exposure to the sun. It's like a little lesion or some like uncontrolled growth that has a couple cancer cells in it, but it almost never spreads or metastasizes to other parts of the body. And the threat of it being life-threatening is is incredibly low. I can't do anything. I can just sit here and watch my girlfriend die. It's typically just like an outpatient procedure where the doc takes a scalpel, scoops it out, and he fucking patches you up, sends you home, you're good to go. No chemo, no treatment, no wondering if you're gonna die. And he said he is super confident that I'm cured. So I find it hard to believe that on the initial assessment, the doctor wasn't like, oh yeah, that's basal cell sarcoma. It's the most common form of skin cancer there is. We see it all the time. It's not life-threatening. And come back in a week, we'll just scoop it out and you'll be fine. Duh. So by the way, this video where she's like, oh, I just had basal cell carcinoma and I'm cured was uploaded after that video I showed you of Derek where he's basically acting like she has stage four lymphoma and a video that she uploaded called I have cancer. I have to be strong and I'm gonna beat this. Where she goes on for 10 minutes and 30 seconds about her fight with cancer and thank you for all the support and she's gonna be fighting for her life. Listen, bruh. You had a basal cell sarcoma, all right? They're like as common as cold sores. Now I know the word cancer can be very scary, but you literally made your millions of subscribers think you were dying of some sort of stage four blood cancer. And then you uploaded a video and were like, it was just a basal cell sarcoma, the doctor scooped it out and I'm cured. So let me summarize how I feel about that by reading the top comment under under your I'm cured video. Honestly, this video offended me. They made a huge ordeal about her having cancer then proceeded to drag it out and make it seem worse than what it was. My uncle had cancer. My cousin died from terminal cancer. I witnessed my uncle cry endless times because the chemo was making him weak and he was sicker and sicker by the day due to the treatment. And you claim you're sick? But can roll out of bed and film a damn video and are cured in a week? Okay, girl. So did they lie about her having cancer? No, I guess not. But did they absolutely blow it way out of proportion and dramatize it in order to get that million views and make multiple videos and make that money? And in the meantime, in the process, make a mockery of people that are actually losing loved ones to cancer? Yes, I think they did. These are family, we got a baby! Well guys, another day, another shit YouTuber with no integrity. 
Thanks so much for joining me as we got to the bottom of this. If you want to support the channel, I just released a new merch store uh, about a week ago with three designs, and I'm adding two more designs this week. But honestly, just you sacrificing some time to, to come out, watch, comment, uh, is support enough, and I do appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think. If you're new here, uh, if you subscribe, that would mean the world to me. And if you could just do me a favor before leaving, buckle down for a few more months until Christmas time. Uh, once the whole family's gathered around the Christmas tree, uh, I want you to roll up there and pretend like you're handing your mother a gift and say, I have stage four lymphoma. And then after everyone's crying and they all think you're gonna die, just rip off your Christmas... Fuck! Fuck! Yeah, I hate when I fumble over my words. <clears throat> just rip off your Christmas sweater and say, gotcha, bitch. And then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.